Welcome everyone. It's uh, October 18, 2011. I'm Roxanne Greenwich. Thank you so much for this opportunity for giving you my best pitch. Roxanne Greenwich's Job Creation, Societal Preservation, Job Interview. It's an opportunity that I'm taking to put in video format the evolution of practice models demonstrated by me as a sole proprietorship for 11 years, standard access to those administrative services that when rendered contingently raise quality of life by providing fair and holistic access to competitive earnings and exposure opportunities for the previously unseen, unmeasured, unaccommodated worldwide population of disadvantaged creators. Um, we have come to a point where everybody knows, um, everybody is experiencing the Occupy Wall Street movement, many patriotic Americans and societal preservations, global market studies, think tanks, heightens, if you will, business schools, university students, working class, student impoverished, of every gender, every lifestyle, every geographic orientation, um, uh, that every profession are seeking ways to move forward, continue the evolution of humanity in the midst of a reckoning, a balancing, if you will, of some consequences as a result of our systems and processes becoming perverted in need of reform. Higher Lyrics has demonstrated, me, Roxanne Greenwich has demonstrated standard access, regardless of who you know or what you have, can be achieved to create a white heat hot competitive marketplace where only superior through a through an authentic and holistic competitive marketplace competition of product contribution, including contribution of thought. Uh, career contributions only superior work products emerge to be purchasable by buyer industries which are sold and disseminated back to consumer audiences of education, quality of life impacting industries, economy, education, entertainment, litigation, uh, life experience, mentorship, community development, science, medicine, space travel, military and defense, corrections, uh, all industries and so on and many more that I don't have time to name here. Uh, I'm going to give you a backwards uh, evolution and the reason I'm standing behind uh, the U.S. Citizens Control Public Docket Database uh, practice model first uh, announced in 2010 and registered as a sole proprietorship uh, company here in Pennsylvania with the Department of U.S. Treasury and demonstrated by me for the last two years is to show that by providing a standard access mechanism uh, for fair entry into competitive processes into any industry for the creator of the work product contribution who is struggling to uh, live check to check or maybe not even be economically disadvantaged but the disadvantage is one of positioning, not uh, knowing the right people or the right names to drop and how the um, leveling the playing field through standard access, regardless of who you know or what you have, jettison the creator's contribution into a white heat hot competitive marketplace industry where inferior work product contributions fall off rightfully and superior work product contributions become available to be purchased and bought by industry buyers and sold back to consumer audiences to raise quality of life for community development business startups, self-employment, entrepreneurship, education, entertainment, information technology. So we are in need of um, recognizing, this is where higher lyrics practice model, this was an, uh, a U.S. Citizens Control Public Docket Database was one of the administrative solutions that was born, birthed, as a result of a recognized, measured, recorded need presented by a standardly presenting population of claimants. As we provided the legal administrative assistance services that would literally just set up a file on someone only making those services available in cyberspace through the free and low-cost services of the internet technologies, this enabled 
the disadvantaged creator who is a holistic spherical person the sum total of their life experiences, choices, religious background, cultural background, hopes, dreams, desires, attributes that previously were unmeasurable and not the concern of traditional industry buyers, but now measurable and jettisoned presented to industry buyers in the marketplace competitive arena where you can see it makes a difference that two people with the same skill set uh, is the, the right fit is determined by who actually um, has the measurable um, characteristics that are now measurable now like uh, demeanor, integrity, loyalty, trustworthiness and uh, what now their background, their, their entrenchment in the computer their position in the community, how they were raised, uh, what goes around comes around, <laughs> uh, karma, what they believe in now matters. It's measurable because when not being looked at, when not being supervised, when not in a position forced to do the right thing, you want people in your jobs and your position descriptions that are going to do the right thing because it is their passionate demeanor to do so because the reason that they are doing the right thing is for the betterment of themselves, their family, their community. We were able to measure uh, community data in the trenches, everything from uh, older and aging Americans entering into bartering. Uh, at least, oh, I'm not going to get into, into all that, but because I don't have time because this is a video and, and it's supposed to be a job interview. So I want to show you now that we're at a point where higher lyrics, the vision, the name higher lyrics has to change because. You can't talk about the, utilizing the internet technologies and recognizing a global community without being globally accommodated. You can't talk about raising quality of life for human beings and entering into quality of life impacting markets without recognizing other collaborations and contributors. So you also, I believe this, this is my personal opinion and a, a principle of my own, no one should talk about or act upon matters that they are not qualified to through their own experience, not something they read in a book, not <laughs> something somebody told you. So I believe that each of us have a unique quality of life impacting contribution to make that can only be deliverable, will only be delivered to preserve and continue the evolution of our cities, our states, and our nation indeed preserve our species, if we can find a mechanized way to trigger each and every collaborator's expertise, positioning, and contribution through mechanized models, personality independent mechanized practice models. The objective is a community needs personality, all neighbors welcome community meeting place, which automatically triggers rescue of person, heritage, health, vested interests, religious freedom, education, U.S. economy enriching careers, contributions by networking lawful but aggressive strategy, planning, presentation of solutions for saving the soul of our cities our state, indeed, for saving the soul of our nation. A new civil rights movement sees new civil rights heroes. And then I have the blocks here that higher lyrics is qualified to have assessed that they exist. Now, we're qualified to do the claims and take assessment, right? We have plenty of experience and data. Over 1,020 federal crime victims verified through standard access to claims and take assessment. Meeting referral and having been referred from everything from pro se sweet jurist document production to um, attorney represented document production to um, uh, data reporting, due diligence, evidence reporting, and bulk evidence module packaging and submission to law enforcement funding decision makers, U.S. Courts Administration, U.S. Senate on the judiciary, and so on, a uh, certified distribution list of entities, authorities who are supposed in their job description are supposed to be able to do something about it and authorized to do something about it, 
but we, in, in leveraging individual accountability, the same mechanism, claims and take the reporting mechanism, allows for leveraging in the count of individual accountability. Once you report it, you also have the data there as who dropped the ball and who ignored the reporting of the evidence. Okay. And that's how we're going to impact elections, all right, through a voter, as a voter constituency. So we have administration, standard access, jobs creation, three divisions that need to be added to another community leader's vision, another community leader's vision, another community leader's vision, okay? And these, when I say another community leader, remember our community is now global. We're responsive, it's no longer just a college campus or a church or your neighborhood. We, what we do in, goes out matrix style. We impact everyone on an exponential generational level. And what we do, we are responsible for on a, as a, in a global community um, aspect, okay? So in administration, this is my proposal for jobs creation, that we qualify for all of us. What we're doing right now, the many collaborations on Facebook, who I respect so much. I mean, that Facebook is just one social networking site where people are showing up and able to use the free and low-cost uh, collaborative powers of the Internet technologies, networking, we're able to find each other now who we would have never, maybe never will ever meet each or see each other, but we are able to enact and have transactions virtually that impact us in the physical. So the U.S. Citizens Public Doctor Database has gone as far as it can go in terms of being an administrative solution for engaging, stand and hold, engage the demonic nature of child slaughter, U.S. economy fraud, court and education reform, state of emergency. It needs to evolve with another community leader's vision, huge numbers of, who represent huge numbers of collaborators, and huge numbers of department heads, and huge numbers of jobs growing up under those department heads. Uh, let's see what we're going to do in administration. Business registration compliance, that's where we find out where we have to be in each state compliant to qualify for a Department of Justice grant funding or whatever private grant funding or other grants that are available. There is no reason why a socially conscious person with quality of life impacting work has to be financially devastated and make a choice as to whether or not they're going to live indoors and eat three times a day or whether or not they're going to be able to participate in their community development, education by conversation, and rescuing DHS abused runaways. There's no reason in the world why someone should have to choose between sharing their knowledge freely, what they have of creating a document that can follow, be filed into a court that might make a difference whether or not a child is rescued from ongoing torture injuries by sadistic CPS workers. and. Um, choose whether or not their phone is going to get cut off or their internet is going to get cut off. The money is there. The funding is there. We have to figure out how we can come together, be accountable to each other first, uh, pitch to each other what our, our needs and our objectives are and what our accountabilities and authorities are, then report those to the funding source, get that grant money, get those salaries, build those jobs, underneath departments in each state that will have chapter heads. Okay, that's where we're going. Administration, then standard access to what? Claims and take assessment for any person living in the United States with claims of official corruption, fraud, civil rights violations, litigation referral, whistleblower, fraud reports, claims for damages, pro se document production, exhibits index binders, active links, case study marketing, Litigation plan presentation, verified data reporting. And then, uh, let me see the, and then the last uh, division, which needs to have to be manifested the input of three other community, in, community visionaries, which represent tens of thousands of people, students, statisticians, economists, um, uh, doctors, uh, military, defense, some elected officials, although the elected officials are going to be under extreme scrutiny 
uh, for their accountability so far, or lack of it thereof, to uh, the American people. As we recognize that the federal crime victim voter is created by official corruption, fraud, civil rights violations, and is a tragically far too large voter constituency whose endorsement and impeachment clout, once organized, can be galvanized to sway elections, to sway a voter turnout, and to understand that you cross party lines, rise above party lines, to send a clear message that non-responsive, unethical, or incompetent elected officials are removed. Okay? No second term letter. <laughs> no second term letter. All right, uh, jobs creation, community development. This is where the jobs, this is the impact of having the money to put, so you, your basic needs are taken care of through a salary, the department heads and the chapter heads, while they manage the creation of the employees under their departments, all right, which the job descriptions are limitless. That's what I'm working on now. I'm working on the job descriptions that will be published that I already see, and when these other people come in, they're going to see uh, the need for um, the different jobs and what the uh, job descriptions and duties would be. Jobs creation, community development, event planning, peaceful protests, voter clout campaigns, signature gathering campaigns, child abuser photo location surveillance teams. I'll get into that separately if anybody wants to interview me on that. Security personnel, emergency housing, clothing, food, health care, for CPS, DHS abuse, runaways, protected by private attorney generals, grand juries. Hire me, Roxanne Greenwich. You hire me as your legal administrative assistant, your campaign manager, your marketer, 